Yo, it's Sway. 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 In the morning. 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 Only on Shade 45. Wake your fuck ass up. Yeah. Bitches. Sway in the morning, 26 morning, minutes into the hour. Morgan Fairchild has joined us. She's a part of a new movie, American Horror Story, that airs on Sci-Fi. Right. Um, you may know her also as Chandler's mom from Friends. Right. Oh, yeah. Remember that? <laughs> yeah. She was Chandler's mom wow. in Friends. Yeah. Um, I remember you, too, when you did uh, Mork and Mindy. Oh, yeah, that was, well, see, that ties back to Happy Days. Okay. Um, I was over visiting, like I said, I'd go over and visit and just uh, say hi to everybody, and I got over there one day, and, and Henry said, you know, Dad, do you have to go anywhere? And I said, no, and he said, well, stay and watch this kid work. And so they had a guest star that I was sitting around watching, and it's just a genius, improvisational genius. So I stayed after all afternoon just so I could tell this guy he's a genius. So about, you know, six, seven months later, I get a call from the uh, manager, and it's like, oh, good news and bad news. Well, what's the good news? Well, you got that TV movie that you wanted. And I said, okay, what's the bad news? Well, Gary Marshall has this new show, and it's this big secret. It's all under wraps, and nobody knows anything about it. And he wants you to come do it, but he doesn't want to give you a contract, and he wants to pay you top of show. He doesn't want to give you any money, and you're making so much more than that now, and we just think you you should pass and i said what's the show he said mork and mindy i said mork and mindy that's robin williams show and he mm -hmm. said who's robin williams i said i saw robin williams work on the happy day set i said, don't tell gary i would do this show for free to work with robin wow. williams <laughs> wow. so i said yeah yeah i'll take it let's take it and so the first day i came in you know and robin i, I came in before um I, my episode the mm -hmm. show wasn't on the air yet so i went over and watched him tape the episode before mine so i could see what the character relationships were and on the dinner break between dress rehearsal and evening you know i can see robin over there at one of the tables with all of his topanga canyon punctured and pierced and mohawked uh, friends uh, all with purple <laughs> hair looking at me and I, I knew he was just thinking why what did they send me little miss white bread america here <laughs> you know, and so i yeah, but i i didn't know. You know i just i watched the show came in the next day we did the read through very funny did the blocking well when we got up and started blocking it getting on its feet on the set i could see that what happened is you'd go on the script and then robin would take off Wow. Uh, doing his nightclub act and riffing and just and then and, and he would just go and everybody would just sit back and watch him go and the director's job was sort of when robin would run out of material but he would never admit he's running out of material uh -huh. the director would say okay well let's get back to the script now <laughs> you know so we got to my scene and you know he started he went off and i said something back and he looked at me and and he said something and i said something back and he looked he said something and, I, and pretty you know pretty soon we're just riffing back and forth and then he comes over and throws me in the air and says mama you're one of me <laughs> Man. So we, we would always uh, just ad lib and improvise every time I was on the show. We wow, had great that was time. Great, man. Robin Williams, definitely a genius. Morgan Fairchild is hanging out with us. <laughs> Olivia from Cali. Go ahead, Olivia. Hi, Heather B. And hi, Sway. I love you guys. And hi, Morgan. Hi. Hi, Hello. I've always um, you know, asked me about your TV shows and everything. And you, by the way, you've always been so beautiful and gracious when you get interviewed whenever I see you. Oh, but thank you. No problem. I have a question, though. You were part of a cult classic movie that was a big part of my childhood, which was Pee Wee's Big Adventure. <laughs> I wanted to know what your experience was like on that. What my what was like? Yes, yeah, so what was your experience like on that working with like Pee Wee Herman? And how, how long do we have here? <laughs> like two minutes okay right. okay well paul and i got to be buddies when i was hosting night at the improv and he had come in and as uh, shaky green was doing everybody was doing it and they all came in and ran their acts in the afternoon at rehearsal and paul came in in civvies didn't look like peewee came in and said i'm not going to show you what i'm doing tonight but don't worry i won't hurt you and so mm -hmm. i had no idea he came in and he threw things all over the place snakes and spiders and stuff and he later he said you know you're the only person i've ever done this with that didn't freak you know <laughs> so you're one of me you know so um anyway so he called me out of the blue and said, uh, Morgan, Morgan, I got my first movie. It's a shoestring budget. We have no money. We need some cameos. Everybody's turned me down. Uh, we have no money. And I was wondering if you could come do me a favor and do something. And I said, uh, but we have no money. I said, I got the no money part, uh, Paul. <laughs> what, what, when, when do you need me? And he said, Thursday. So I said, well, let me check with Falcon Crest and see if I can get off. So I got off. I go over there. 
I arrived there. It's a ninja fight going on. So yeah. I said, you know, guys, and it was Tim Burton directing. People don't realize wow. it was like wow. maybe, maybe Tim's first movie. And so uh, I, I said, guys, you know, I had four and a half years of Kung Fu in Chinatown in New York. I can probably do this ninja fight for you other than falling out of the tree because Falcon Crest will kill me if I break a leg. And uh, so we did the ninja fight. And then Jim Brolin got there and he's all decked out with the little bow tie and everything. Uh-huh. And and so Pee Wee and, and uh, Paul and, and Tim come over and say, OK, you say I know you are, but what am I? And we had no script. We didn't know, you know, we didn't know what was going on. So he said, well, what does it mean? And they said, it doesn't matter. It'll be so funny in context. And he said, but what does it mean? It doesn't matter. Just say it. You know, so Jim and I are, I know you are, but what am I? We have no <laughs> idea. No <clue. laughs> so, so then we finished that. So I said, hey, Jim, what are, you, what are you doing? You have to go back to work? And he says, no, I'm off. I said, I got the whole day off, too. So I go to the guys and say, hey, guys, you got us for the day. You want to do something else? And they what can we do? We're on the back lot at Warner Brothers. What can we do? And so Jim says, I got an idea. So he calls Aaron Spell. Because he's doing a show called Hotel. Uh-huh. He calls Aaron Spelling. So in. Wait, hold up. She's just saying Stunning. all these big names. Tim Burton, Stunning. Aaron Spelling. Spelling. Oh, my God. <laughs> So so he got Aaron to donate the hotel set, the lobby set for us uh-huh. for the day because they weren't using it. So we all move over there. Now we've got a set. What are we going to do? <laughs> you know? So we come up with this thing where uh, Pee Wee is the bellhop and Jim is a big game hunter and I'm a spy. And, you know, then we did it. We just threw it together. It's all wow. like ad hoc. Like wow. <laughs> yeah. wow. Great. So that was the experience. It was very fun, fun, very cutting edge and totally thrown together. Wow, Olivia. Great question. Thanks for your call, Olivia. All right, she's Be a citizen sure of Swing. Tell them Large Marge sent you. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sway in the morning. Only on Shade 45.